Thursday Night Football on EA Sports. Up next, we've got what ought to be a great matchup between the Green Bay Packers and the Chicago Bears. I'll see you again at halftime as we preview some of the action coming up on Sunday. But for now, it's Thursday Night Football. And on the call, as always, it's Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Thank you, Coach. Soldier Field opened back in 1924 with the Bears becoming tenants in 71. And what a home field advantage it has become here in Chicago. Nothing like the Let's fair, fair of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence. Chicago Bears rebuild. You already know Drew Brees, the quarterback. <laughs> I was going to pick Tom Brady, but I was like, man, let me go hang on Drew Brees. I can see him playing for the Bears. You know, I can see him rebuilding the Chicago. Look at that. Antonio Brown. Let's get it. Chicago Bears, Green Bay Packers. It's the 199th match first game of day season. And the Bears. Makes our four seasons together. Steve Christian Myers McCaffrey at halfback, you know. Next to it. But how about this opener? Last year, it was a season opener in Green Bay, and that was an absolute classic. Aaron Rodgers coming back and throwing the big touchdown passes for the Packers to win. But now they're on okay, the we'll off. Matt LaFleur is their head coach. Rodgers still the quarterback. Dang. The Bears, the defending NFC North champs. That's fielded in the end zone. You know running that back. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So here comes the Packers offense now onto the Jameis field. Winston. They're led out by a man raised in Alabama, hmm. went to Florida State. It's their quarterback, Jameis Winston. Wasn't expecting no that. No question at all about his talent, and that's been on display okay. since his first game as a starter at Florida State. On a Monday night, the whole country watching. He only missed two passes in the entire game and led his team to a big victory and later a national championship as a freshman. Jameis to throw it. Come on, defense. I don't want to deal with this. Timing is everything, and they work on this cut all the time. They work on all the timing patterns, and this time it paid off for them. Worked him to the center of the field. Give me some power. Give me some power. What the bro? What is going on, bro? What type of tackle attempt was that? Eleven yards there, first down. They run with a former Viking and Raider. It's Latavius Murray, and he'll take this for about four up to the forty-six yard line. Quickly now, here's a look at the Green Bay offense. When I see Latavius Murray with the ball in his hands, I think that he's a dangerous player. He has good speed, good presence to run inside, nice toughness, and good vision. But once he gets past the first line of defense, he can make a guy miss and turn it into a bigger game. To throw on second and six, Winston. That's see, now we tweak him. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears 33. Now we tweak him. Hold on. I'm blitzing too much. He's looking sharp right from the get-go here. Tough division. They needed this kind of a start. But I think this is part of where scripting comes in. Right? Interception, bro. Good defense. How they're going to be called. Everyone dress rehearses their script. And right now, they're following it to a tip. And for that opening drive, so part of the script still to come. Right, partner? Yeah, no doubt about it. We've got a ways to go with that. Oh, yeah. But you can tell that they worked on the script the entire week in practice. And it's paying off for them. Second and ten from the 33-yard line. Come on. Defense. Winston. Bro, why is he open? Why is he open? And the pocket's been protected pretty good here so far in the opening drive. We always talk about confidence in runners and catchers and quarterbacks. How about the protection detail? They're not allowing anyone near the guy throwing the football. On first down, Murray. And a My phone turned. About four down inside the ten to the eight yard line. No. And that's one of the reasons you like to blitz even on run downs. Huh? It confuses the blocking assignments hmm? and doesn't allow those offensive no. linemen to get up to the second level. If it was, he could definitely hear you. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. He's getting charged for him. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown. He's going to score now. From eight yards out. 
And the Packers take it right down the field and score. I don't even know what happened, but I wasn't even paying attention. Excellent start there. First drive of the season. Big time success putting it in the end. Defense zone. already booty. Remember, that was done already booty. Real map of how to do it. In other words, the deeper you get into the season, you get defense the already to booty. Off of, tendencies to work off of. The first drive of the season, things can be entirely different than what you've seen in the past. It's a really good job of execution. Nigga, watch my that. first drive. This is fielded at the goal line. And he's up past the 20 to the 22 yard line. So here come the Bears under second year coach Matt Nagy. They'll be let out by the first pick of the second round back in 2001. And that's the veteran Drew Brees. Drew Brees' accomplishments have been borderline astounding when you look back at what people thought about him coming out of college, so called height issue, you name it, he can do it. And boy, does he prepare well for each and every game. On first down, Breeze. Huh? Smith catches left side. Where you at? Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. <laughs> on your screen now, here are mm -hmm. the offensive starters. They are so quiet. Antonio Brown they are so quiet. Is someone that the defense always has to account for. Without a doubt, a true number one receiver, it doesn't matter to him how defenses right. want to cover him. He sees it as a challenge and knows how right, to come on, Drew. Him. Second and five after the five yard completion on first down. A first carry for Christian McCaffrey. Bro, Made cut to the left. That's what I want you to, wanted you to do. And he'll get it up to the 33 yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. To throw, it's Breeze. Was that Alshon Jeffrey? By Alshon Jeffrey. A gain of six there on first. Now, Charles, what's the mindset here offensively? You gave up the well. touchdown pretty quickly. Would it have changed if you'd gotten a stop and it would be 0-0 zero, zero right now or no? I wouldn't think so. I think in most cases, just down a touchdown, you know, I mean, we're just getting started here. It should be a long way to go. You think to yourself, stick with the game plan, all the things you worked on in practice. Bro, what? But you have some teams that when they get down, their natural tendency is to aggressively strike back. And let's see if they want to get outside of the game plan we expect and try and be aggressive on their first series. From the gun on third down. Oh, right there. And he's See what I hit. Good job. Down, but not before he works it past the 50. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. Plenty of things to talk about here, partner. But to me, their defense gave up a touchdown on the first drive. How about how they're responding, coming back? That's a big third down pickup to keep their drive alive. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and ten at the 49-yard line. Give me yards, I'll show it. Slant going to be complete, and this time he's able to take it down to the 42. And this will probably be the last play of the quarter. We're gonna let him run out. Do him like that. Seven nothing on EA Sports. Back in Chicago, ready for the second. All right. Hey, man, I can't get a run going. Look, 21, 21. I'm gonna block, though. I ain't gonna lie. Throwing again on second down. T.Y. Hilton, let's get it. Let's get it, baby. Good catch. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34 yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Where he's gonna come up here, first and ten. And he's a perfect five for five here to begin the game. <laughs> On the ground, McCaffrey. That boy gone. Good job. It's a pickup of 10 and a Bears first down. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. I think if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space. He's wide open. Oh, I should have thrown it to um, my tight end. Back to the line. We're going to run that play back. We're going to run that play back. Give him seven on the play. And it's a second down. Bree's going to throw. It's right there. Touchdown, baby. Let's get it. Touchdown, Bears. Set the valve. There to make the grab. Let's get it. As they are now on the board. That's how we do it on our first drive. 
Looks like we're doing an offers drive. It's good and tied at seven apiece. A ten play drive that time, and it culminates in a touchdown. Better tell them, James. Let me make sure my debt chart is right because they be. They be tweaking on me, bro. Okay, cool. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. Just have to make sure I have my guy in there. You're not running that back. Be taken in the end zone. You're not going to get a chance. I'm overload. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offensive summit. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense get the ball back pretty Dang. quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. I hate they keep getting so all these. Happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. Get a corner blitz more. Just inside the 30. Fake them out a little bit. Why are you moving? And a flag, and I think we got a jump here. A free five yards as the defense jumps. I know it's what? an anticipation game for them, but it's also a reaction game, and they reacted poorly on that one. So after the penalty, now they need just a yard on second down. Following the penalty, it's Murray. Also, oh, this defense is so booty, bro. Tackled right on the chalk of the They're so booty, bro. Hold on. Eleven yards there, first down. Coming in, he really liked his chance to have a so big year based on a terrific offseason. And runs like that on opening weekend show that he's right. Jameis now on first down. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. No gain on the play there. It'll be All right, we'll do a mid blitz. Had the completed pass, but for no gain, stopped right at the line. So it's second and ten. Get him. Good job. And he'll go down. The Bears get there for the sack. Everson Griffin on the sack. Take it to the fourth round back in 20. Everson Griffin. And that was just absolutely good job, man coverage. Nowhere for Get one more stop. Led to a sack. That's really difficult to do in today's NFL with all these gazelles running around. Yeah, one more stop, bro. In the secondary. So it's third and long. It's and one defensively, more. not a real surprise. They're in the dime. Working out of the gun, Winston. Pressure on. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh yeah. He's the one to get him this time, and back to back sacks. That's all I to see. Brings up fourth down. Good job, defense. Sacks so far in the first half, and if they have designs on having a big year, on going anywhere, they've got to find a way to keep them up right so they can throw the football. So on now is the Clemson man, Bradley Pinion, to pump this one away. Back deep, Antonio Brown. <laughs> Antonio Brown turning it. Oh no! Nah. What? Two and one. I gotta change that up. Antonio Brown can't be returning no kick return, punt return. A reminder coming up at halftime. It's the season debut right. of the coach, Jonathan Coachman, in Orlando. As we look ahead to all the action coming up this opening weekend. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Get it, boy! Get it, boy! Get it, boy! Get it! I should have stepped on. Good job. And when you draw up the draw, I should have stepped on. Sometimes it takes some fortitude. That ball is gone. Because if it doesn't work, it's a lot of angry people waiting in the hole for the runner. In this case, it broke free. A big game. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. Uh oh. <gasps> Again? Two in a row, baby? Let's get it. Let's get it. Good job, what? Good job. Ooh. 
A sensational one-handed grab of the end zone. Delight. The score looked like you at the Davis Turkey with the one hand in the backyard in Orlando, Florida. Oh, uh, you're so good. Let's get it. Definitely in my mind. But how about this? They always tell guys going after the ball, the receivers especially. Good job, boy. Have a single-minded obsession to go get it. How about good going job. with a single hand and making that happen? I don't know if it gets much better than what we just saw there. Lux with the extra point, and that makes the score 14 to 7. One play, two plays. I'm gonna let him run it back a little bit. Oh dang, he still ain't got the opportunity to run it. That's fielded in the end zone, and no run back here. All right, defense is getting to get these stops. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. That's seven. Bro, what are you doing? Short lived as they've now given up two straight touchdowns to fall behind by seven. Yeah, but no cause for discouragement. The game five yards. Yeah, they've fallen behind, but haven't they proven that they can go down and score? So, what was the formula to get them down there the first time? Get back to something close to that, and maybe they get this game tied up. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Seven yards there and a first down. They'll run with Thompson. What is up with my dog on defense? Stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a tick under a minute to go before half. From the 44, Winston throw left side complete. That's good job. Thompson. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they get come the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all. And now they're looking at third down here. Good job, defense. I don't know what that was, but good job. I don't know what that throw was. Jameis Winston did, but good job, defense. The other day they told us when we've got third and five or less, we have to be able to convert. And I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity missed there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point. And they liked some matchups that nope. they had, thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. I haven't even hit Antonio Brown. Have I hit him? I think I did have one time. Now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. And you're under a minute to go here in the half. Field position not really in your favor, but still time to try and move the ball and get in field goal range. Yeah, you got the lead. It's definitely oh my God, I did not see that. Escape and he goes down. Aaron Donald with a sack. Now the Bears gonna call. Oh yeah, Aaron Donald. Timeouts, as it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half. Maybe that's one. why. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. They don't want to repeat a first down. They'll keep it on the ground. And he'll push forward here for a good little run as the clock continues to run. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. One more oh, time, nope. keep it on the ground. And no, you don't. Rally and stop him short of the first down. They get him oh, what down is that? That was third down? Now the Packers going to burn their Prompt third. Probably was not paying attention. As they'll stop him with 27 seconds. Hold on, man. We're not finna. No, hold on. I was not paying attention, bro. Bears will use their third and I did not know. Timeout. As that was third down. I have not paying attention, people. In the second quarter. <sighs> And they're going to at least line up to go for it here on fourth down. They do go for it. Damn, Drew Brees. Oh, man. Damn, Drew Brees slow. He may try and run for this. Damn, he's slow. Well, we kind of looked at each other as they decided to go for it. But in the end, great execution. A six-yard gain, and it all works out. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. <laughs> Shotgun handoff now to McCaffrey. Go ahead, boy. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. Eight yards on the pickup. Yeah, that's the end of the quarter. Some options on second and short. That's cool. We'll take that lead. So we have hit halftime of the 2019 opener from Chicago. As we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our it's been a good game so far. Time report. Coach. All right, Brandon. Good to get another season underway. Get right back to All right, let's get it. Here in the third. We'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. This is fielded at the goal line. Let's go, baby. Let's go. 
So here's the Bears offense now as they get set to start this third quarter. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you term that because now I think they're Hold a little on. bit deeper into their playbook. They like what they yeah. did in the first half. That worked okay. But in order to get the Look separation for T. Hilton that you on just this talked one. about, change things up a little bit. Or change Alshon the Jeffrey. Try to hit them a little bit more. He's right there. The flag. What's that flag? Incomplete, but a penalty flag is down in the backfield. Why are y'all holding? The call. Why are y'all holding? So apparently some grabbing there in the middle of the O line. I've often wondered why that doesn't happen more often for guys that play center. So my tight end devolve and get it again. Or Antonio Brown, he's going deep. I don't know. I don't want to risk it. Oh my gosh, this guy. Oh, I thought he caught that. Oh, he would have caught that. I'm like, oh my goodness, this guy is good. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. Now a draw. Oh no. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Good run, boy. Christian McCaffrey. 22 yards there, a first down. Well, that last run makes this a 100-yard night. I've loved the way he's hit the holes. He's been quick, he's been decisive, and he's been a whole lot of fun to watch. Now Breeze. There you go. Got you, Antonio. Good catch. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Another good game. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. Now a carry for Damn, I'm running right into that. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. It was the linebacker Leonard Floyd on the stop. Going on a slant. Throwing on second. Oh no. Breeze. No. No. Do not. Popped in the air and intercepted. It's the former. That's not an interception, y'all. That's not an interception. First possession of the third. That's not an interception, bro. Can I can I challenge that? Indeed, and not That's not an interception, bro. Look at this. That's the equivalent of running out the wrong door. Look at this. Into your pool instead of running the out ball was on the field. ground, bro. Can I? Done for that Has that happened to you before? No, but I've heard stories about teams actually doing that back in the good old days. That just blew me, bro. The Packer offense. That was not an interception, bro. Underway. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. Let's stop. Is it head to the field now? With a game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. But we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely wanted better linebackers of reading the play and flowing to make the stop. Good stop. Turns into something big. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. He was looking for Jamison Crowder there, and it's third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. What the hell, bro? It's third down. Stop the man. Take it down, but not before they work it across the field. The 21 yards there as they convert on third. Damn, defense be so. Winston out of throw on first down. Over the middle to Smith. Look at this shit. Past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. Back to back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. No way that was an interception. And the ball was on the ground. To the air again with Winston. Completes it to Lee. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Winston now, 12 of 15, throwing the ball, 80% so far, and it's first and 10. From the red zone now, Winston. This is caught, and he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here and a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post 
because <laughs> officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. Nothing doing there. They're going to wind up holding him at the two. No gain there, and it's going to set up second and goal. Second down and goal. Winston yeah. toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Austin Hooper, the intended receiver, but now it's third and goal. This Bears defense trying to hold on. This is third and goal. Good job. On third down, they take Nick a shot up, at bro. the end zone, but it's incomplete. Boy, such a good drive. You'd hate to have it end in three. Do you think about going for that it? That was not an interception. Absolutely. I mean, the fact that they've moved the ball so well should lead you to the decision that maybe we should go for it right here. Also, as a head coach, show some confidence in your team. Let them know you think they can go get it. So a decent drive there to start the third quarter. They only salvaged three out of it, but they inch a bit closer. Yeah, but still lots of time to go in this one. That's why you hear that clapping on the sidelines, right? Hey, got some points. You're getting his so stick. inching their way back in. Time left to go out and get that victory. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. Of course, they'd like to forget the ending, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. McCaffrey, he'll have on, man. Good on. the 40. And he'll get this all the way up to the 42-yard line. 15 yards on the play. First down. Uh, he's He's wide open. Not anymore. But he caught that. Good job, boy. T.Y. Hilton, good job, bro. Man, that was good. The last drive he threw the pick, but he's not shy. He's going downfield again there. And you can't that wasn't even an interception, bro. The ball was in the on the ground. I don't know why it kept flopping around. Right out the window, and it makes things easier for a defense. And you and I both know there's a quarterback in this mm -hmm. league that's any good that doesn't throw an interception occasionally, and they usually bounce back in a big way. I've seen guys throw five and still find a way to win the game in the end. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. They'll try to run with McCaffrey, and he'll be stopped up after only a couple of yards as he gets it down to the five. Be interesting to see now what they do offensively down near the goal line after not much there that time. As the offensive mm -hmm. play caller, that may change your sequence now. Instead of coming right back with a running play. Oh my gosh, Drew Brees, you are so slow. He goes. The defensive player of the year, Aaron Donald. And that'll make it third and goal. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play. Third and goal. Shotgun now for Brees. He's right there. Kiss that. Good job. T.Y. Hilton. T.Y. Hilton there to make the grab as the Bears push further out in front. Well, that's what I call an answer right there. They gave up a sack on the previous play. How about what they did to finish things off, turning it right back around? That's the response, and that O-line feels a lot better now, don't they? Yeah, without a doubt, because giving up the sack in the previous play, that just hurts those guys. Mm -hmm. They never want to see their guy get hit. And a pause in the action because the booth, they see something that they Bro, don't take that away. To find out if this was a don't take that away. That was a touchdown. Both feet was down. Yep. He stands. Yeah, I know. Try to take our touch down and we go. I'm trying to take the greatness of Drew Brees. What's good on the extra point? And that makes it a 21 to 10 game. A drive that time of six plays. And the end result is a Bears touchdown. This is taken about seven yards deep. 
And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 20. Okay, defense. Let's do some. The Packers offense now heading back out onto the field. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. He's wide open. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three points. The kicker. Exactly. He put it through the post. That's going to help him in contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that helped him in contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. Toe bash. I don't know about that. Toe bash. <laughs> Super tough. <laughs> What the hell? What's going on with my DBs? Are they not good? It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. Clock management definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agree. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores. Want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. There you go. Good job. First down there, but it's incomplete. It is tough to complete pass against zone defenses. The windows that you see open, they shrink pretty rapidly. How about being able to hit a moving target against a zone before the next guy can get there and make a play on the ball? Not easy for any quarterback, no matter the situation. And there, the defense won the battle. On second and ten. Oh. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield. That would have been a sack, bro. Five yards on the pickup. Okay, we're going to go Mike Blitz. Down. Oh, bless him, man. play on the completion got him half of what they needed. Now here's a tough third and five. Now Should not have done that. He's got the hook up to Lee. And he's going to get this inside the 30. A good looking drive for the Packers so far. It's a first down. And a two score game, obviously. Every play, every third down, like we saw there, magnified. Big pickup. It was a huge pickup. What they really want, though, is to not even get this. Good He's going to go down here as sack. They push him back to the 34. They shot Robinson. Too much to handle that time. Gets the sack. And plays like that really hurt play calling. They had a really nice gain on the previous play, but gave about half the yardage back on the sack. Excellent pressure up front. Nowhere to go with the football. Down he goes. Now, following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. Oh, I saw him. I sure saw him. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears' 12-yard line. So it's Packer football here as we welcome you back. I sure was in the garden, too. Search for a late score. To Thompson on the draw. And here he'll get it down to the 7. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Second and five now. Good job. Houston. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Marquis Lee. I hate that we keep target. giving him the, this red zone, bro. The Packers on third down. Two for five to this We point. keep lining up this the red zone, bro. I hate five. that. From the gun, Winston. And Good job. Can't quite pick it. No interception so far. That probably should have been their first, but at least it's fourth down. Watch how they fake it. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? The zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. Oh, it's not an onside curve kick. They needed the two scores. They get the easy one. I thought it was an onside kick. It. Ball back, hopefully. Yeah, and the question is, how do you accomplish oh boy. that? Do you onside kick it? Or since you have all three I thought it was an onside kick. kick it. it deep. To me, I'm playing field position. Well, three timeouts. I kick it deep and try and pin them back there. What? Here's the Chicago offense coming back out onto the field. And this yeah, game not quite over yet. And we'll likely see him take all three timeouts defensively. So they can't just kneel this one out. They're going to have to try to run a few plays. What are y'all doing? You're exactly right. They've got to get a first down and make them use up all their timeouts in order to feel like they have this one in hand. They start on the ground with McCaffrey. And he'll get this from the 25 to the 30 for a pickup of five. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Bree's going to throw here. Flush to his right. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. Well, 
Well, they got the yardage they needed there. Picked up the first down, got out of bounds. How about the urgency that they have, as well as to understand where they are in the field. but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. This is McCaffrey. They'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. This, in all probability, another run here on second and eight. To throw is Breeze. Escaping the pressure right. And this is going to wind up incomplete. The coverage there too strong on the deep ball, and now they face a third down. The Bears on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This is third and eight. Check, 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 check. Protein spill. From the shotgun to McCaffrey. And out of the line. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Now the Packers going to burn their third and final timeout as they get the stoppage with 65 seconds remaining. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Back to the ground on first, it's McCaffrey. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. Wesley Woodyard there on the tackle. The win for the Bears just around the corner. They go down to a knee. I do get a kick out of seeing a team kneel down at the end of the game in victory formation and wrap one up because most of the time a kneel down is not a good thing in football. In this case, it's the best thing for the team that's winning. Best thing week one and 1-0 and oh after going down to that knee. friend for the players it's good for them to get that first game under their belts for you and I that first Thursday night game also good for us to get that under our belts wasn't it it was no longer preseason we were into the regular season the first game of the year and you know all eyes were watching this one everyone was excited that football was bad it's just special you 